Hey guys, CJ here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a 2D Java engine that uh, works pretty well. Now, the first few episodes won't have much to show for it. It's mostly coding that will prepare uh, later portions of the project, because you've got to get stuff like game objects and all that fun stuff set up. So, I'm going to create a new Maven project. Now, I'm going to use Maven because I want to pull in the reflections uh, library. Um, so I'm just gonna create a simple project. Yes. And I'm just gonna leave parent project blank because I don't have a parent project and I don't want to create one. All right, so you'll see we have our project. We have source. We have main. Oops, there it is. Um, so you're gonna want to click or double click on pom.xml, and in here we're gonna add the dependency. So go down here to dependencies, and then hit add. Now the group ID is org.reflections. Artifact ID reflections in version 0.9.10 and hit OK and it's gonna pull that in or you're gonna save that so control S and then that should be downloading and you see we have maven dependencies uh, I think that's all we need and so in uh, source slash main slash java new package and com.cjberkey.game engine. We can close that by the way. So first class I'm gonna create game start. Well I guess, I, I guess first I should explain why we needed the uh, dependencies. So we're using the Google reflections so that we can basically load classes of a certain class, so sub subclasses of a certain class, because this is going to be a completely modded based game engine, and in the beginning it's mostly just gonna, the core stuff will still use modding, but then we'll continue on to loading external mods and stuff like that, but f for now it's all gonna be based inside of the, uh, the project. So. Inside of our game start, we're going to have a public static void main string, an array of strings called args. So, that's the game starting. I'm going to create a new package, and I'm going to call it mod. Inside of here, we're going to create a new class called game mod. Now, this is what the basic thing is. So, we're going to have a public string. We want the mod name a version and an ID. And for ID we can just call this dot get class dot get name because that should always be unique. Next we're gonna have some events in quotation marks that we're gonna want to use um, such as public void tick. So every time the game ticks we'll call this. We have public void render graphics 2D G. So every time the game renders something, we'll go ahead and use that. Um, what else would we want? I guess we could go for mouse click. So public void mouse pressed. And in here we have mouse event E. I think that's what we want, yeah. Then we're going to have the same thing for released. And then key pressed. We'll have key event. And then key released. So those are the main events we're going to want to have. Now we're going to create a new part down under here. This this part is optional. It's just I'm labeling it so that I know it's separate from things up there. 
So we're going to have a public static final array list game mod mods equals new array list game mod. Before I forget, I want this to actually be private because we're going to create a ton of helper methods to help us access this array list. We're not going to access it directly. So we're going to have a public int get mod count return mods dot size and then public game mod get mod int i return mods dot get i or we could have game mod i mods dot get uh, oh yeah no, no, no I'm thinking of something else so this one will be add mod game mod mod and then this is going to be a void not an add um, we're just going to say mods dot add mod and public void remove mod game mod 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 star remove mod or we can go int mod and remove that that's the one I was thinking about and uh, public void clear mods mod star clear alright so there should be most of the uh, oh, before I forget these have to be static and final, so they cannot be overridden. There we go, public, static, final, and then the type can change from there. So, um, after this, we're going to have a public, static, final, void, load mods. And for now, this is just going to be some basic reflection code. Um, so, we have reflections reflect equals new reflections and you can just in here com dot key dot game engine so it creates a unique ID kind of and then in here we go set class and we're gonna want a class that extends game mod Mod classes equals reflections dot get whoop, reflect dot get subtypes of game mod dot class for each one of these class <laughs> in mod classes. So we're going to get game mod mod equals class and we're going to want to create a new instance of this class now this this whole operation we should just wrap and try catch because it's good habit because this stuff can be crash prone sometimes anything goes wrong you'll get a huge error it's pretty much what I'm saying so then we're going to want to go add mod mod and we are also later going to call things from the mod so basically whenever something happens in the core thing like when the initialization stage hits we'd call something like mod dot init or oops <laughs> oh we don't have an init set up that's one thing we need oh we also need an exit there we go so you can exit and then you can do all that cool stuff so I think that's actually all we need in this class completely so uh, in here we're gonna create a class called game engine public static final void in it public static final void tick 
public static final void render in public static final void exit those are all the ones we need for now so um i'm actually going to copy this no i'm not no i'm not no i'm not so in here i'm going to do a different type of for loop than what i did before because you know it doesn't it doesn't matter so we're gonna go for each game mod mod in Yeah, I'm actually going to do I'm actually going to do this type of for loop because one, we don't have direct access to uh, this variable right here because it's private, and because the other one can be slightly um, unreliable. This, this type of one right here, this type, can be slightly unreliable if you're, if you're using an array list that can actually have things removed from it. And since we give the ability to remove mods, we don't really want to do that. So in all these things, except for render, we're going to put the same type of thing except we're just going to call the different methods. Now in render, we're going to call a uh, another class, the uh, draw pane itself, and we're going to repaint that so it draws it and gives us the graphics variable. Because you'll notice we don't get a graphics variable from this, so it would not be wise. Because then it would just tell the mods when it's getting rendered. It wouldn't allow them to add on to it or anything. So basically we go through every mod, we say, all right, call init. So anything the mod author has inside of init is called. Then we have tick. So every time something, every 60th of a second, let's say, this is called. And then uh, same for render. And they can add on because we're giving them G. So G lets you call like G dot, uh, you can draw shapes pretty much with this. And we also have exit, so when someone tries to close the game, it's going to tell all the mods, all right, clean yourself up, please. If you don't, it's, it's okay. But, you know, clean up, save, do all that fun stuff that you'd want to do. That's important. So, um, how long have I been recording? 14 minutes? Let's make these 15-minute episodes. Uh, so... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.